Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you what the success cycle is and two critical components that keep you on the success cycle. So have you ever wondered why people when they start getting success it just seems that the, it just keeps multiplying and you're kind of stuck where you're at? Well, the success cycle starts with, and I'm going to share with you how that goes, okay? So success builds confidence, confidence creates activity, activity creates results, and results create more success, which in turn creates more confidence, and the circle keeps going, that cycle keeps going. Now, in the opposite, okay, you know, the opposite can happen too where if you're not successful you don't have any confidence if you lack confidence you're not going to create the activity and you're going to be stuck in procrastination mode or you're going to do nothing at all which then leads to having no results which makes you get into compare itis and you wind up feeling uh, more lack of self-confidence and that cycle perpetuates so you want to be on that success cycle. Now, how do you get yourself off that, off the unsuccessful cycle to the successful cycle? That has always been the challenge, especially for me. And then the, um, I came across a training by Grant Cardone, and it really helped me make a lot of sense. And it gave me a lot of clarity to stay on that success cycle. And there are two things that he said you've got to do to stay on that success cycle. The first is you have got to commit to success. You have to make a firm decision and commitment. And that means you're going to have to sacrifice things that you enjoy doing temporarily to get you on that cycle of success. Now, if you're someone who loves playing Xbox or you love going golfing, or there's some other big activity that you're spending the bulk of your time doing throughout the day, okay, you're going to have to maybe cut back on that or give it up for a short period of time so that you can do step number two, which is to learn what you need to do to be successful. You got to take an inventory of where your where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are. And <coughs> excuse me, if you know where your weaknesses are, you can then start to learn how to overcome those weaknesses. You're going to have to do some research. You're going to have to do invest some time, maybe some money in training and developing those skills. Then there's the other part. Is you got to practice. You have to take action on what you're learning. Now, what's happened now is that people think, and and I am I was so guilty of this, is that you have to get ready and have everything perfect before you take action. You need to take imperfect action because you don't have to have it perfect. You just need to get it off the ground and start it. You see, what happens and why people fail at mastering skills is that they fail to understand that our brains, we are pattern-seeking mechanisms, and the brain learns in patterns. Okay, it has to learn a pattern. So in the beginning, you are going to suck. It's going to be terrible when you're learning a new skill because your brain hasn't figured out the patterns. Once the brain figures out the pattern, you're going to wind up being able to do it without thinking. Now, let me give you an example of when you brush your teeth. When you first learned to brush your teeth, and you were with mom and dad, and they were they were teaching you how to do that. You know, they would say, okay, take out the toothbrush, you know, take out the toothpaste, put the toothpaste on the toothbrush, and then told you how many times you had to brush on each side, you know, how to rinse your mouth out, how to take the mouthwash. And when you were first learning that, you didn't do all the steps correctly. You know, mom and dad were there, and they were they were guiding you, they were correcting you, and a lot of times you would forget. 
but you kept at it. You kept practicing. And over time, you got so good at it that mom and dad didn't need to be around while you were brushing your teeth. And more importantly, when you brush your teeth now, you don't think about each step in the process. The minute that toothbrush hits your hand, you know how the whole sequence and steps go with brushing your teeth. The same thing applies here when it comes to the success cycle. Okay, when you are doing the success cycle, you have to be practicing. And so you have to embrace failure. It's okay to fail. You want to, you want to adapt a new meaning to the word failure. There's no such thing as failure. You're going to win or you're going to learn. All right? And we learn the best when we don't succeed off the bat. Okay, because it makes us want to practice, it makes us want to do more. And so when you keep practicing, that perpetuates that success cycle because the more you do it, all right, the more action you take as you're learning and you're doing, you're going to create the confidence. The confidence, you're going to want to do it more and more. That creates the activity. And as you do that, you're going to see more results. In the beginning, you may not see them right off the bat, but then all of a sudden, it gets easier and easier and easier, and you see more and more results. And that's how you achieve success. And that's why you stay on that cycle. And all of a sudden, the success and the results continue to grow in mountain. And it's kind of like that snowball that starts real tiny up at the top of the mountain. And then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it rolls down the hill. That's what's going to happen with you with momentum. That's how you achieve momentum. And that success cycle really accelerates and you start seeing massive results. So remember that when you're doing the success cycle is you number one, you got to commit. All right, you're going to have to give up some things. Number two, you got to learn. And number three, you got to take action, even if it's imperfect, because that's where you're going to, that's how the success cycle gets started. So there you have it. I hope you found this video valuable today. And if you're not on my newsletter, go to workwithdrlisathompson.com, enter in your best email address, and I'll start sending to you my latest tips and strategies on how to grow a full-time income while working only part-time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.